What's up? It's Joe back with a whiteboard type coding interview questions. This will be episode three. So today we're going to do a SQL interview question that you may get when you go on different interviews. So what is it going to be? Um, get the cities with the shortest and longest city names along with the number of characters. The result set should look something like this. So if this is your shortest city name in your table. You should have lion with the number of characters, which is four. And the longest, if this is the longest, will be like a Latua and the number of, of um, characters is seven. So the table is something like this. Um, just want to do it again. This is just selecting all from customers. So it's going to return the, pretty much the same results. So this is a table. So I need to be able to get into this table and get those results. And if you're liking these videos, please go ahead and subscribe. And do not forget to hit that bell to get those notifications. <laughs> So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so what we need to do first is um, try to get the, the length of these cities. So let's just try a simple query. Let's just say land of city. Okay, and let's just also get the city name. Let's just call this name. Okay, and let's just format it a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna, that's gonna return something like this. So we like Berlin is six, Mexico, blah, 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 blah. So let's also, um, if we were to get like the distinct, which is just gonna just knock it down so there's no re repeated records. Okay, so it's really not what we want because we actually need it for both. Um, so let's see how we can do this. So what can we do? We can actually do something like this. So we can do an analytical, analytical function and do the row number which should be here auto format um let's just move it out of the way and let's say over and we're going to say order by len um and then the c so what this will give us is let's just say um the minimum characters so if you see we have burn grass cork colon and so on and so on and so on all of these have like it's just in order so um it gives you the order of the like if you go all the way down we'll see that the biggest number has the longest number of characters so since we have something like that we can also do something like that for the max so let's just call this max the only difference is instead of instead of doing the order by the regular way which orders from the lowest to the highest we're going to do it descending which is going to order from the highest to the lowest so now we have something like this as you can see in the results we have one here which is the lowest number of characters four and then here which has the highest number which is the max which is one so along with that we probably want to get the actual number of characters so let's just say land city and let's just call this length. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. We have like all of this information. So what we need to do is actually wrap this. So we can just say select all, and then just say from, wrap that in there. Just, just give it an alias name. That's what it's complaining about right now. And if we were to do that, we would just get the same results. But we actually want to get the one with the least number of characters, which is four, excuse me, and then the one with the longest number of characters, which is 15. So what do we have? We have the min and we have the max. The max is equals to one, because that's the one with the most number of characters. And then the min is equal to one. So what we can do is just say where a dot min equals one or a dot max equals one. So now that we have something like this, now we're getting really close to the answer. And again, we're using our analytical functions. And just in case you don't know, I've touched on these before, but with the analytical function and what it's doing right here is saying order by len. So it's just having a, a different number for each one with the row number, but it's ordering by the number of characters by ascending here. And then so the number just will start from the lowest number to the highest number and then vice versa for the max. Um, I have some other tutorials on that using analytical functions as well. So now that we have that, we want the result set to look like this. So we want to get the city, 
and we also want to get the length okay so we are getting pretty close we have this we have this we have that so that's actually what we want but one thing I don't like about this is if you look here so this is not really in alphabetical order so as you see like this one that starts with an A also has four it's just all like all out of whack so say if I wanted to actually put this in alphabetical order what I can do is just add into the order by and just say city and then here I can also say city so now as you see now the results change now I'm getting that so it looks like this now so it has the in alphabetical order the about and then here which is the longest one it doesn't really matter so it's just going to be the um, I de Margarita and yeah that's pretty much it um, and actually I don't even really need the distinct here anymore I just actually take this out that was with the other career so you have your a ball and you have the I and the only thing if you want to make sure that the lowest number comes first you can just say order by link and that will be the end of it so that was a, just a quick tutorial on something you may see if you went to an interview and you're doing like some kind of sequel and I um, hope you're enjoying these videos and you can always just go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to get those notifications I do plan on releasing these every two to three days and peace out have a great day